Okay, so we have our lab ready to go. We have Open Daylight Controller. We also have Mininet. So in this video, I will instantiate a small forwarding plane, which has a single switch and three hosts connected to it. We'll see that these hosts are unable to ping each other. The traffic is not flowing uh, from one host to another. And the reason is that the switch uh, S1 that we see here is open vSwitch, which does not have control logic. After that, I'll start up ODL controller, which will connect to the switch and it will know how to process those ICMP packets and the traffic will start flowing be between the hosts. Okay, so let's go to the server and create our forwarding plane and then start up the controller. So this is the window that I had from PuTTY when I logged into the server. I will open one more terminal window and I will use xterm space ampersand. When I do that, it will, it will start up the process, but then take that process in the background and give me the prompt back so I can continue to use this window. So there. Now it takes a while for xterm to open up the window. If you, you were running a VM on your laptop, if you used Xterm, then on the same physical machine, you'll see the window come up much faster. But my server is running on AWS over the internet. It takes a while for it to, to open up the window. And I'm not going to stop recording just so that you get a feel for you know how long it takes. And this also should give you an idea that Xterm is, uh, is great for CLI type commands, but if you want to use a full-blown GUI with a, like a desktop type environment, then its performance is just not good enough. So here's our window. And this is the window I will use to start our Mininet example. I'm going to uh, sudo, we, I need super user authority to run Mininet, uh, MN is for Mininet and the option topo, which is for topology. I will do single comma three, single switch, three hosts. And I will give it one more option of controller to be remote. If I don't give controller remote, then Mininet will start a reference instance of the controller in its own environment. So the control plane as well as the forwarding plane are all in the Mininet environment, but we don't want that. We just want Mininet to create the forwarding plane and then manually start up the open daylight controller. So it was very quick. It was unable to contact the controller on the default uh, IP. If I had given here comma IP some address, then it would have look there, but the default is on local host. It didn't find the controller. It added three hosts, H1, H2, and H3. It added a switch, S1, connected the host to the switch. And we have our forwarding plane. And now we have the Mininet environment prompt. We can try to ping H1 to H3. And as expected, it's unreachable. And the reason is that our S1, the switch, is open V switch, which does not have control logic. There is no controller attached to this. So it, when it receives the ICMP packet, it doesn't, the switch doesn't know what to do and, and the hosts are unable to uh, speak to each other. So now let's go back to our original terminal window and I can either start in another X term window where I will go and start up the controller on the server, but I'll just go ahead right here. And if you recall, I myself created a directory. This is just how I, I like to keep things separate, but I had created Helium. It could be, it doesn't have to be there, but anyway, it's along the path. And in there, when I clone Open Daylight, and then when Maven did the build, then a lot more of the directory structure was created. 
and the path is a bit convoluted but we'll get there so just follow along please and we'll be there shortly I can hit tab and if I'm in the right place it will uh, it will do the rest there I go to target and I want to go to this OSGI package so daylight. and we are there so it's a it's a it's a bit long but We, you see this uh, run.sh? That's the script to start up the Open Daylight controller. So I will start up Open Daylight by running this script. And it's, it's going to start loading uh, different packages, OSGI packages. It takes a, a little bit of time. While it's waiting, if you click SS, it shows you that some of the, most of these packages should be saying active. There it says resolve. That means it has not loaded these packages. So let's give it a little bit more time for the server to load all the packages. There it goes. So we can see that most of them ha have become active. Some of them are still in the resolved state. Let's let's just give it a try and see if we can ping, if H1 can ping H3. That's what we were trying to ping before. And now it can. And let me just break it right here. So it had to do the round trip, receive the ICMP, Took a long time, 37.3 millisecond for the first uh, response reply to come back. And then as we see, you know, the time gets better because the switch has the information, uh, has done its, uh, has the table where, what to do with the ICMP packets. It doesn't have to make the round trip to the controller. And we can see it goes down to around 0.038 milliseconds. So that basically concludes the first lab exercise that I had in mind, which shows that OpenFlow controller is working, our mini net setup is working. So with that, we are done.